Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to find the limit of this guy. When x tends to zero, the limit of one minus cosine x to the power of sine x, the whole thing over x cubed. So if you have time, please pause the video to try yourself, and we will see the answer in a second later. Before we start our calculation, we need to find two basic limits. And the first one is the limit of when x tends to zero, the e to the power of x minus one over x, and we will apply the L'Hopital rule for this limit. So we will differentiate both numerator and denominator, and the numerator will become uh, e to the power of x, and the denominator becomes one. So the limit tends to one, and the second limit is. The limit of x tends to zero, ln the natural log of one plus x over x. So we apply the L'Hopital rule again. We differentiate the numerator, which becomes one over one plus x over one. So when x tends to zero, the whole limit becomes one. So how do we start to find the limit? And the first step is to change this guy. And we know that cosine x to the power of sine x, this guy is a bit ugly. So how about if we change it to the e to the power of ln cosine x to the power of sine x, and then we over x cube. So by this operation, we can make the sine x to become um. Like a constant, we can multiply it before the ln natural log of cosine x, and then we over x cube. So how do we proceed? And we know that the numerator now will become very similar to the one we just calculate. So remember, we have a fact that the limit. Of when x tends to zero, e to the power of x minus one over x will become one. So now we know that the the row of x in this simple limit is equal to this guy. So we try to make our denominator to become the same variable. So we copy like this, and then. I will multiply sine x ln cosine x in the denominator, and the same guy in the numerator to cancel the effect. So now we have x cubed on the right hand side. So now、um, the first guy is very similar to the one we calculate. We're going to switch. The position of one and e to the power of this guy. So by doing this, we will have a minus sign in the front, minus open bracket e to the power of this guy sine x ln cosine x minus one over the same guy sine x ln cosine x. So now. We proceed to manipulate this guy. So we know that this is good. We have sine x and x at the bottom. So we extract one x in the middle, and then we are left、um, the x square, right? And then for the ln cosine x, we know that this guy is also similar to the one we calculated before. So we call that. Ln one plus x over x is equal to one, right? So now we want the x to become cosine x, but there is only one cosine is cosine x in the in the ln, so we need to plus one and then minus one in the bracket. So now we know that. 
um, the row of x here will be equal to cosine x minus 1. So we make the denominator to be the same guy, which is cosine x minus 1. And of course, I need to put it in the numerator to cancel the event. So we are left with x squared here. So, so far we are okay. Because we know that the first three guys here, here, and here, they will all uh, converge to 1. So, uh, we need to manipulate the final guy. So, how do we proceed? So, we will need the minus sign in the front here. I will transfer the minus sign, so I cross it out, and then I will switch the position of cosine x and 1, and becomes 1 minus cosine x. So, how do we proceed? Remember, there is a double angle formula, and we know that cosine 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared x, and then we replace 2x by x over 2. So the left hand side become cosine x equals 1 minus 2 times sine squared x over 2. So we do some algebra, we can put the 1 minus cosine x on the left, and then we have 2 sine squared x over 2 on the right. So we can replace this guy by 2 sine square x over 2. So what do we do on the denominator? We need to make it also x over 2 to appear. So how do we do this operation? We will, okay, of course I will I will remove the square here, like this. And then, of course, okay, I will write it x over 2, wait, a whole square here. And then, of course, I need to multiply by 1 over 4 to cancel the constant. So now, we can combine the two square, okay, like this. So we cancel out. We put it like this here. And then we multiply the 2, maybe here, okay. So now everything is done. And this guy also converts to 1. This guy is 1, and this guy is 1, and the final guy is 1. So the limit will become 2 times 1 over 4, which is half. And I hope you guys will like this video. And please subscribe to my channel and we will see you in the next video. Bye bye.